hello guys we are going to do another interesting problem which is called the coin problem and it's very simple it's very fun and it's very interesting so let's get started with it so guys we are given that um, there's a game that is being played okay consider there's a game that's being played in a fair and maybe you would have seen this game depends on your life experiences but if you have seen this game right the game is such that there's a table in the fair and you are given a coin right if you throw the coin completely and it completely lies inside the table then you are going to win something called prize yay right but if the coin lands suppose something like this or you know something like this which is which even some portion of it lies outside the table right or something like this something like this these are all wrong possibilities that means in all these possibilities you are not going to win a prize right if the coin lies completely inside the table something like this then you are going to win a prize so what is the probability of you winning a prize and of course we are given the dimensions of the table and we are given the dimensions of the coin so let's get started to solving this problem they have given us that the dimensions of the table are one you know they have given it one by one you can consider consider it as any unit i'll just consider one centimeter by one centimeter it's too short for a table i know but yeah just consider it they have given one by one and the, they have given the units for the coin to be three by four centimeter in diameter right this is a circular coin you can consider and it's three by four centimeter in diameter so the radius of this coin will be three by eight centimeter right this is what they have given us we have to find the probability of winning a prize now what is the probability such that we win a prize so guys how will we approach this problem so think of it such way that if the coin lands on the table you are going to win a prize right so what's the probability of coin landing on the table okay assume that you are throwing within the table right so what's the probability then that the coin that the area of the coin will lie completely inside the area of the uh, table right we have modified the problem so the coin should lie completely inside the table so where can it lie it can't lie something like this this is wrong right this is right it can lie something like this so what will be the extreme ends this is a very simple problem just think practically so if the let's let's consider from the most extreme case right if the coin lies here you will not be inside the table right but um, for example if the coin lies here again you will not be inside the table if the coin lies something like this again you will not win the prize but if the coin lies something like this right then you will win the prize so what will be the extreme case extreme case will be when the coin when the corner of the coin touches the you know uh, edge of the rectangle i hope you are getting it right so this is also one and this length is 3 by 8 this will be the extreme case right from this side then you will completely your coin will be inside the table and you will win the prize okay what about the case from the right side again let's consider simple example if it is here you will not win the prize right if your coin is somewhere here again you will not win the prize if your coin is here you will not win the prize right but there will be a case when your coin gets completely inside the table again it will be like this right you will win the prize so 3 by 8 is the radius of this coin so from the right end if your coin lies here you will win the prize right so that means 3 by 8 from the right end and similarly 3 by 8 from the left end also this much if the center of your coin lies within you know between these from the left and right ends then wherever your coin lies right here or here you are going to win the prize so these are the two extreme ends i hope you are getting it similarly from the top and bottom end again if a coin lies outside you are not going to win the prize but there will be two extreme cases now i think it will be very simple to understand so there will be two extreme cases something like this right where you can win the prize so the extreme cases will will be like this right so it will be 3 by 8 from here and again it will be 3 by 8 from here so this if your center lies within this area and within this area right that means this will be the overall envelope that is getting covered so i'll just clear out all these things so that it's easier for you to understand so if it lies within this area then you're going to win the prize right so if the center of the coin lies within this area you're going to win the prize so probability will just very simply be the area of this green shaded portion divided by the total area of the rectangle so that will be our answer so area of this green shaded region is going to be our answer so what is the area of this green shaded region 
right so let's see what will be the green shaded regions area so it is 3 by 8 from the left and the right hand side and this whole length is 1 right so it will be 1 minus 3 by 8 plus 3 by 8 right or not see this is 3 by 8 this is 3 by 8 and this whole length is 1 so it will be I mean this length will be 1 minus 3 by 8 plus 3 by 8 so 1 minus 3 by 4 this length will be 1 by 4 right and similarly from the top and bottom again you see it will be the same thing right um, this is 1 this whole length is 1 and then it is 3 8 from here and 3 8 from here so from top and bottom it is 3 8 so again if I'll erase all of this it will again be you know one fourth in dimension <laughs> so my table has just zipped off so the area of this shaded portion will be nothing but one by four into one by four divided the area of the table area of the table is uh, one right one into one is one so that's a unit table so our answer is simply one by four into one by four so it is one sixteenth so that's one sixteenth chance that you're going to get the price thank you